Hey Martin, well, what are you wearing? Oh, hey Brett, this is from an e-commerce startup. Their dev team is evaluating Cloud Run for nine different types of workloads. I told them we'd check our serverless toolbox for answers. Yeah, sounds good. Stay tuned if you want to know more. Artisanship connects rural artisans with consumers worldwide. My new hat came from Ecuador. Their dev team is excited about Cloud Run, but they aren't sure if it's a good fit for them. Here I have a list of nine types of workloads. Brett, could you tell me if Cloud Run would be a good fit for them? Sure, I'll, I'll try my best. What's the first one? They want to build private microservices that communicate with each other asynchronously. Cloud Run could be a great fit. It would scale each service up and down independently and automatically. The services can communicate securely with each other through Cloud PubSub. The service endpoints would not be publicly accessible. If they prefer services to explicitly call other services, they should use Cloud Tasks instead of PubSub. The calls are still robust and asynchronous, but developers get more control over things like retries, scheduling, and rate limits. All right. Number two a public REST API using HTTPS. They can build a REST service in Cloud Run, which provides an HTTPS endpoint right out of the box. They can also add their own custom domain on this endpoint. Number three, scheduled maintenance jobs. Sure, they can trigger their public or private Cloud Run services from Cloud Scheduler. Cloud Scheduler is also serverless and it uses the standard Unix cron format. Number four, they get data feeds from suppliers in different formats. The data needs to be transformed and loaded into the database. It is easy to build ETL services in Cloud Run and trigger them when files are uploaded to cloud storage. Another alternative would be to let Cloud Dataflow send each record to their Cloud Run ETL service as a PubSub message. Number five, they of course need a public website. Yeah, they can run a web framework like Flask or Express on Cloud Run. If their website runs on a software package, they may be able to use Cloud Run. WordPress, for example, works on Cloud Run, but requires some extra configuration. The team should also check out App Engine, which is a mature product for building scalable web apps. Many content management systems are also available in the GCP marketplace. From the marketplace, you can deploy production grade solutions to Compute Engine in just a few clicks. There are images for WordPress, Magento, Joomla, Drupal, etc. Number six, one of their microservices creates product images using a binary library. Cloud Run can do that. They would package the binary in a Docker container and call it from their code. Number seven, they also render video files of some of their products. These jobs can take hours to run. A Cloud Run job can run for a maximum of 15 minutes. Some long running jobs can be split into shorter jobs. This may simplify the code and enable parallel processing. But if their jobs can't be split up and they take more than 15 minutes, the team should use Compute Engine or Kubernetes Engine. Number eight, off-the-shelf software packages for their finance and warehouse management. Any software or binary that can run in a Linux container and doesn't store data on disk can run in Cloud Run. If their finance or warehouse software can't run in a Linux container, they can run it on Compute Engine instead. All right, number nine, a product recommendation engine that will use machine learning. They should use Recommendations AI or another product in Google's AI platform. But a Cloud Run service can still call those services to get recommendations or even run custom machine learning models. Well, those are all nine workloads. You seemed awfully well prepared, Brett. Did you peek at my list? Maybe just a little. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this episode. Let us know in the comments what you're doing with serverless. To see how to build a REST API with Cloud SQL and Cloud Run, check the episode link in the description.